Hello my dears, it is time for some spring refreshing going on in my house. I don't know about you, but I think the seasons are fantastic for those of us that love to decorate. They let you bring in colors and small, usually sort of inexpensive decorations that you can mess around with instead of redoing the whole house. So I love that as an option and it really helps the family celebrate. It helps you feel like something new is happening in your life. And so I love to dabble in some seasonal decorating about four times a year. So let's look at what I could do new in my room for spring. First of all, I like to start by pulling out my stash and seeing what I have in there. There's always things I've forgotten, things that I've thrifted or found on sale and were able to just add into my bins. So it's kind of like Christmas each time I pull those open and I set them all out for you. I'm gonna go through them with you. And I have a couple of small DIYs that I wanna do. Namely, I wanna make a pleated shade. They're very expensive when you buy them. And even the workshops are, are pretty expensive. It would make a great workshop. If you are into hosting things like that, it's an idea for you. The other thing I'd like to do is make a long lumbar with some of my scrap fabric that I have. I'm seeing those a lot on people's beds lately, so it's fun to dabble in the trends. And I know not everyone likes the trends. I always get comments in the comments section, but for those of you who love interior design, this is a really fun way to spend your time and money. And it's more than trying to keep up with the Joneses. I'm defending you. I think it's about enjoying the art form that interior design really is. I dug through my spring decorations and pulled out some things that I'm interested in this year. I of course won't use everything, but I wanted to put it all together and look at what I have, look at colors that are complementing or matching. I got this butterfly print at Ikea a few years ago, and then I found some fabric in my stash. Some of it is thrifted. I think I'll make a long lumbar with this green. This little, it's plastic, but it's a basket style planter. It was a dollar thrifted. I found the bird picture in the back at Goodwill. The frame next to it was thrifted for a couple dollars that I painted it and printed out these sheep. The sheep picture is from Etsy. I'll see if I can find the print for you and put it in the description. And then thrifted this silver bowl and this terrarium. Actually, my son broke the glass and I don't care. I still am gonna, I'm still gonna try to use it. And the sheep, I got at Brumfield on my Brumfield trip. It's cast iron little bank. This topiary was a dollar or maybe two dollars at a garage sale. And I made the Velveteen Rabbit sign. I will link that blog post for you. That is such a fun project. Didn't cost very much. Next to it, I have this rocking chair that I got for $50 at a thrift store. I still just adore it and it's so comfortable. I did recover it and I made that cushion in the back. And then the blanket, I just got this off Amazon actually for our living room, but I'm gonna use it up here for a little bit. And the pillow in the back is silk with the paisley design. I got that thrifting. And yeah, that's about it. I also have some thrifted candlesticks, a lot of thrifted stuff. I get a lot of my holiday things that way for seasonal decorations. So let's, let's see what we can make with all this. I still think that I need some bird's nest maybe, maybe some books. I have a little bit of a vision of where I'm going, but as always, it's a work in progress and you're trying to figure it out as you go. I also am gonna need to run to the fabric store because I don't have what I need to pull this shade off. Since I'm doing a spring refresh in my bedroom, this calls for some new sheets. I really believe in prioritizing fabrics that touch your skin, making sure they're high quality and they feel really, really nice. So I'm all for quality sheets. And I was delighted when Brooke Lennon said that they would sponsor this video. I got in the classic hardcore bundle, it's called, in the color Soft Sage. When you order it in a bundle, that'll save you 25% right off the bat. So I think that's a great idea. You get a flat sheet and a fitted sheet 
four pillowcases and a duvet cover. And you can mix and match, which I did not do this time, but next time I'm gonna mix them up. In my design courses and classes, I love to teach on bedding. I think it's so important if you wanna get a really high-end look. So, mini lesson right here. When you are shopping for sheets, you are gonna look for two things that are going to indicate you're buying really quality bedding. Number one, I want you to look for percale. It's pronounced just like the leafy green vegetable. Percale means that the weave, they don't skimp on the weaving and cut corners on that. It's a true basket weave design. So you're going under, over, under, over. That's what percale means. The second thing I want you to look for, and both of these are in the Brooklinen sheet descriptions, is the thread count. If you see something that says they have 2,000 thread count and they're trying to sell that to you, they are misleading you. That means that they are probably using frayed threads and using the plies. Brooklinen does not do that. So if you see something that's about 270 or 290, that is an excellent product. And that refers to how many threads you can get in a square inch. Okay, so the ones that I got, the classic hardcore bundle are 270 and they are per kale. Check, check. This gives you one, a really buttery soft sheet, and two, they're gonna last a long time. I've used these sheets in the past, so I already can vouch for them. I love how this particular one is from the cool and crisp line, and so it will. I can use it into the summer and get a good night's sleep on those hot days. Right now, Brooklinen is having their President's Day sale through February 23rd, and you can get 15% off everything on their website. If you're looking for hotel style luxury, I recommend Brooklinen. I'm at Joann's going to be looking for some fabric for my pleated lampshade. I've been wanting to make one of these for a while and I keep looking at little tutorials. I don't think it's hard. I just need to get it done. So I've ordered my lampshade for my little thrifted lamp and I'm matching my new green sheets. I'll show you what I had. I dug through my stash and I, I had a couple things, but I also want to go look at silk. I had this which I thought was super sweet. I think this was part of the dust ruffle or something from my children's crib back in the day. And then I got this too. Beautiful velvet. And here's, here's what we're matching to. Okay, let's go look in Joann's. I'm getting really distracted. Look at these plates. Oh my gosh, they still have Christmas up. I mean, they're trying to get rid of it. These are so cute. Makes me want to plant my garden. Anyway, why did I come in here? Keep me on track. Cute. Oh, this is William Morris, you guys. This is their silk look-alike. Silk knockoff fabric. Oh my word, look at that. I need 
need a dress out of this. I really like this upholstery fabric. It's good character, good weight. All right, we're gonna look at the greens in the quilting section. These are green, it's true. Oh, I just have a thing for strawberries today. I mean, look what's in my cart. I found this lamp at Goodwill. I think I paid $10 for it and it originally had silver detailing on it that I spray painted black. And I think I want to elevate it just a touch and we're gonna change the black trim to gold. There are several ways to do this. We're gonna do rub and buff today and I like the color antique gold. Tape off the areas that you don't wanna get this. It, it's a gold wax that dries basically instantly. So we're gonna tape off the Caprice shell portion and then go from there. I'll show you this little hack I do too. When I have to tape around a circle area like this, I pleat the tape. I feel like it works best when you go left to right. I like to wear a glove on my left hand. I'm right-handed, so this hand is gonna be holding the substrate that I'm trying to change the color of. I like to get my brushes. I just use makeup brushes from the Dollar Tree. Really soft. And then of course my rub and buff. I ended up switching to a smaller brush because I was not liking how modeled it was looking with the big brush. I think I like it. Now for the shade, I got this one off of Amazon and I ended up purchasing this knockoff silk fabric that I kept looking at at Joann's. I got just a simple, sweet gray floral that I wanted to make a pleated shade with. I hope I have enough here. I have a half a yard of this fabric in my shade, which arrived damaged. I think we'll be fine because of we're gonna cover it, but if you have a damaged shade, this is a really good solution. So you wanna figure out how wide your lampshade is and then cut strips. Mine are two inches wide and I cut 40 of them. We're going to iron them like bias tape and then hot glue them on. That's the next step. Take each strip of fabric and iron it like this. I didn't even measure, I just tucked in half basically a half an inch on each side. So I put a bead of hot glue on the right side, right here and right here, and then I lay the strip. And I'm keeping the top strips a lot tighter and then kind of fanning them out at the bottom because of the shape. I'm running out of uh, strips of fabric. I thought I needed about 40 and I need more like 55. To finish off the edge, I just took a scrap and I did the same ironing fold and I'm just gluing it along the bottom going all the way around to finish the very end you're gonna want to just trim it fold it under and then glue it in place the trim covers a multitude of sins I love it I think it looks like a little skirt
You probably noticed that I ended up not using that pleated shade. I just want you to know that it is okay to do a project and decide that you want to use it somewhere else. I think I'm going to style it on my desk later. And I know that a lot of you are really excited about that tutorial. So I am, I went ahead and just included it in today's video, but what I'm going to do is put together a true printable tutorial that I will have over on the blog so you can easily recreate that lamp project. All right, I'm super happy with how the room turned out otherwise, besides not being able to use the shade. It's really pulling me out of the winter blahs just to see all the green and fresh flowers and the sunshine in the windows. So I hope you get a chance to style up, even if it's just your coffee table, something beautiful for this spring to celebrate and remind yourself that it's there's new hope and new life coming after a long winter. Be sure to grab your sheets from Brooklinen if that is on your shopping list for your spring decorating. And remember, now's the time because they have their President's Day sale through the 23rd, which will get you 15% off your order. Oh, P.S. If you're watching this video after February 23rd, I can still help you out. This is my promo code that will still get you $20 off when you spend over $100. All right, take care and I will see you next week.